Welcome to the Cycles of Radiance podcast, a weekly conversation tailored for Gen X Black women and women of color who balance faith, family, friendship, career, and love. Through storytelling and laughter, we embrace the triumphs, challenges, and aspirations experienced by women of color. Your hosts, Joanna Kemper, Dana Middleton, and Stacey Givens, are faith-filled entrepreneurial women who are redefining success on our journey towards well-being. Find us on Instagram at Cycles of Radiance. No more review, just do comment stuff. Yeah, it. All right. Um, so yeah, welcome to Cycles of Radius. Here we are with more shenanigans as usual, already in conversation, already tackling. And today we're tackling even harder. Harder. We have a reward for today because we have a guest. Yes. Please. Welcome. Welcome. Becky Kilston. Yes, yes, yes. So I punk at you by my sister. And that's just what it is. And I think kind of look like, oh, you guys, this is my hammer and I have her. You just are. So, this is is so, what it is. yeah, that's right. Uh, really excited to, for her to be here. She already knows Dana and Stacy. So, this is just, we're just adding to the cycles today, adding to the reunions. So excited. It's a reunion. It, it's, it's a reunion. It's and I'm already skipping all of it. All of the things. All of the things. Hey, tell me. Yes. Yeah. Right. You know, I just tell you what well, this in person. Mm-hmm. I know. Yes, ma'am, pressed ham. Oh, my God. I have been looking forward to this plan of a face-to-face, an in-person. I cannot wait. We have spoken it. It shall happen. It shall happen. I'm Mm -hmm. trying to facilitate everything possible. And things are coming together slowly. But I'm not. I feel like this is the year. Yeah. I feel like this is the year that it potentially happen. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So, so, so let's jump in here because okay, D sharp. Y'all know mm-hmm. I'm back in the uh the regular market, so I gotta watch my class. Uh, but <laughs> throughout this, this year, um, you said what? This is your right. It's official right. You're right, right, right. So throughout all of this, I mean, those of you who've been with us from the very beginning, you know about the ebbs and the flows and what do we do and how to navigate. And in the process, there's been a bit of let's honor our gifts. What the hell are our gifts? You know, because we may pay attention, we may not. Um, But there's one person in particular on this call right now who kind of got back into doing something she hadn't been doing in a while. And she thought it was some kind of accident, but I think the three of us knew that this was divine. Absolutely. Um, so working with her hands, Jay, would you like to tell us or, or do we need to do it? Cause <laughs> you're going to try to water down. I mean, with that tone, I feel like I'm being told like, to talk kinda, about it. Tell it. Kind of, sort of. So, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, I had been praying for God to spark my joy again because I felt kind of about all the things. Like, nothing was really inspiring me. And I think y'all get into those funds. It's just life. And I don't know. Events that happen and not uh, <laughs> useful things. So, um, in that, I actually started doing that into the kitchen, and I don't always do the wood cooking before, but then, I don't know, it's low where it was just a chore, and I didn't like it anymore. I had kids, you know, kids don't like anything you cook, and I was working and trying to do all the things. Yeah, I was excited, but my husband is just sticky to this. I don't want to do it all. <laughs> and, um, but something was like, I'm going to get back to the kitchen, and I started cooking again. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. I have a little breathing space. Kids are older, so that's nice. Um, and then I started baking bread, and I had not really made bread before. 
So I think that came up. My first one was a Bombastic Blue. Um, it's my release base bread. And I was like, wow, this turned out great. It turned out really better than I thought. And that just sort of beat for me. And I was just making like these sprays grand and it was fun, good. And then, you know, I noticed I was smiling every time I was making it. I was feeling really good. And I just wanted to make more of it. And then I was like, well, I'm biased to start this article situation. So <laughs> I, was like, you have to... <laughs> I was intimidated at first, but then I was like, you know what? I've been intimidated before about things and I don't make noise. So let's go. So let's start with Spyro, Spider, Snake Bruno. And I feel like they got confused. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. I'm sorry, sorry. Yes, I am, lady. Can say it's just good. What is that? You named her Sourdough Starter. Yes. That's next level, y'all. She done named the Sourdough Okay, anyway. But it fits, right? It it does. Yeah. This is This is part for the course. Go ahead, Jen. She was kind of bad. Thanks for mom. I see her making these sock and it's the magic of my own life. And so I said, I'm not playing. And I've been going. And I've been playing about it. And I was injured in the bottom, you know, to do like a part of the sequel. So I have to have another point. But right now, I'm brand making is the thing. And I was like, what? It just started asking to, like, I'm going to in it and I will make it be a blessing to you, Anthony. So, uh, mm. that mm. I just held it in and I got corrected on my prices by <clears throat> this radiant pure group here. And so far as it's happened, it just... As they should be. They were. Because I said as they should be because they were uh, a, a little too low. Well. And you're an artisan. And you're, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I felt. Mm. And so, like, yeah, I've been doing that. And I ordered more bread flour. Um, it was, How much bread flour did you order, Jen? Yeah, because it's straight number. Just about the years. I was more. You got probably more. <laughs> did it come in a wheelbarrow? Did it come in a, a train car? <laughs> How did it? How did it come to that? Yeah, no, okay. I'm not, no, for real. Okay, for real. It's fifty pounds of bread. Yes, fifty pounds. Yes. Now, now let's talk about why that is uh, amazing. I mean, it's absurd, but it's amazing because oh, okay. you're like, let's dig in. You have a gift. You have a gift, and we talked about this before. How hard it is to see your gifts as one a gift, right, and something valuable. Um, but other people can look at you and go, "Oh no, this is a thing." Um, so, from a selfish standpoint, we like, "What's up? Look, what are we doing? Get <laughs> when, in the when do we get on this list to receive yes. this bread?" Yes, but. When you honor your gift, the fulfillment that you get from that, just in the process, right? That that making, creating process, but then you share it with other people. And that for me is the point of this conversation because we have had a week, um, a good week. Cause sometimes, you know, we'll get on here and be like, this week came from hell, straight <laughs> from <laughs> hell. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But this was a good week <laughs> for everybody. And there were a couple of reasons that I felt it was important to talk about. We all felt it was important to talk about because we received gifts this week. We all were in a position to use our gifts and also we received gifts. So that was kind of an awesome thing for me. Um, I came home one day this week 
Let me back up because what I'm not going to do is dismiss the other gift that I got this week. I started a new thing. We'll talk about that later because it really doesn't matter. But um, oh, no, Stacey disagrees with that and I low key do as well. That's not the point of the conversation. Okay. I started a new thing. But that day, I get two boxes. I turned that out. Kind of not. I see not. Okay, go ahead, A. I get two boxes of chocolate covered strawberries from my favorite person in the entire world. And here's me. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Right. But I didn't even realize they were from him. I'm getting gifts that I don't even really know how awesome it is. Right. Mm. So finally, at the end of the day, I open this box, this card that's on the box, and it's from my man, my man, who is like, basically, I guess I'm just going to have to say it. Okay, I started a new job. I'm really excited about it, blah, blah, blah. But he goes, they are fortunate to be working with you. And that just meant the world to me because as amazing as he is, that was a bit out of character to take a moment and think about it and go, this will make her happy, Mm. right? Mm. His love language meant my love Mm -hmm. language Mm. Um, because you're sending me something you know I will adore. Mm -hmm. Then a couple days later, I miss talking to my people this week. Text messages were just pinging and I didn't have time to read them. And in this instance, it was good because I came home, what was that, Wednesday? Wednesday. And there was a box on the counter with my name on it. And I open it and I'm like, what is this? What is this? And all of a sudden I get this, this, this aroma, right? That's just coming from this box. And I'm like, is that bread? Is that the bread? And it's just wrapped so perfectly. And it's the prettiest, just full and I'm like, oh, yes, let's get this. Let's get this knife. But then I go to the text messages and I'm like, they've been talking about this for a couple of days. This girl was on to something. So I'm going to stop there. But the way those things made my week, it made me feel so loved and so special. Um, and Jay, for you using your gift, right? A, a thing that you love to bring joy to somebody else and we didn't even expect it um but no, i did you did i did i've been you asking did. i didn't expect it i've been i've been asking i i live in expectation so i know? love that <laughs> and you do and you do <laughs> i live on the edge of expectation I, on a daily basis Tapping your fingers like, where is it, huh? Yeah, no, I asked her, she's like, I need my ready to ship it to me. Okay, for uh, shipping a letter. And I commented like, ha, ha, ha. And then Dana was like, I don't know why you're laughing. She's serious. She really said didn't. her for break. And inside, I'm like, yeah. I can't comment on this. This was a little bit surprised. Well. you were already on it, see? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. When, I, when I saw mm-hmm. the IG pictures of this massive hollow loaf. Mm-hmm. I wanted to dive into the computer and brain. just, I was like, really? <laughs> this is, this is like delicious. Just look at yes. it. So I most definitely was like, Jay, I'm going to need you to go ahead on and put that in. Let me know. Is it Zelle PayPal cash app? Is it Venmo? <laughs> How you want the money? I'm going to need my bread. See? And I, it was just, I, uh, I was excited. I was excited. Mm-hmm. I was looking for well, the postman to come up. And, it, you know, Data, you said something about it was a gift and I didn't even know it was from him. And that just stopped me right there because a lot of times there is a gift for us mm-hmm. and we don't know it's from him. Mm-hmm. And I am so eternally grateful for y'all because you are gifts. And I'm like, I didn't even know the Lord had this for me. That's our difference. Mm-hmm. Right. Watch it, looking for the postman, right? We talk about this all the, all the time on the pod, right? We talk about faith. We talk about trusting. We talk about waiting on the Lord. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting on the postman. I'm like, it's a gift. It's true for it's coming for me to do oh. it. Oh. And oh, I'm no. looking in anticipation. Where is it? 
So when he hit the door, I was like, yes. And, he, and, and on top of that, it wasn't just that. It was, there was three packages at my door that day. I just thought mm. it was going to be my bread, right? So there's this massive box and I'm like, it's got to be the bread. And then there was two <laughs> other packages. I had bought some glasses and then I had a book that was coming, but it was the bread. So I was on a call with somebody talking to this woman. I had my, my box cutter out. That's I was like, yeah, this is important. What's she talking about? But I got to cut this box open. I got to get into this bread. Yes. There were gifts. There were gifts in the mail. And I was opening my box of bread. And <laughs> to your point, D Sharp, the way it was packaged, there was so much love in the box. There and was. You could feel it. Yeah. And it just made me so happy. And then yesterday, a woman rang my doorbell and she dropped off a box of Tips Treats cookies. And I was like, who's giving me Tips Treats cookies? Hey also packaged really pretty and it, it had a little balloon that said thank you and i was like oh. thank you for what and i see that it is from this company this roofing company that i had asked to come and do an estimate and they were thanking me for letting them do the estimate mm. and i was nice like you touch. know what yeah right that was my thought i was like this is such a thoughtful thing to mm -hmm. do yeah and it was such a nice touch very different than the other person who had come to my house and has just been ringing my phone mm. off the hook waiting for me to connect that person to my insurance company and all that kind of, that wasn't it with these people. It was, thanks for letting us just do the mm -hmm. estimate. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. So it's just been a, it's been a week of, of just beautiful surprises mm -hmm. and gifts. And it's amazing how those things, you know, very simple, but also not, you know, but those things are really great for carrying you through. Uh, making you feel all the good things and giving new perspective, you know, because you could be focused on like the night I came home with the box. It's like, all right, I'm coming in six o'clock. Now I got to go do this and this and this. But it said, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, before you get in that refrigerator and eat some more strawberries, um, look what else you got. I'm look what else you got. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, yes. Let's. This is giving me all kind of good life right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Life. Yeah. But when do I have to? Yeah. It propels you into a moment of being grateful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in your headspace, to your point, it's so easy to say, okay, and this is what I have to do next, and then I have to do this, and then I have to show up this tomorrow, or what's the next thing? It kind of stops you in your tracks for a second and just it was an opportunity to mentally mm -hmm. pivot and mm -hmm. just accept the gifts, you know, mm -hmm. be grateful for that person. And in your case, D sharp. Is that correct? That's happening. <laughs> Yeah. It's nothing like getting a gift or someone that you have an established relationship with. And especially in, when you're in, um, when you're in a marriage, because you've got to still going under all your patterns and your love language. And there's a lot of miscommunication around that, I think, initially. And mm -hmm. so when, some, when you get a gift like that and that person has specifically done something for you in your love language, that also, I think, provides additional hope uh, mm -hmm. and confirmation that people were out and they're long and you see me. Yeah. You yeah. see me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Gold. It is yeah. so It is gold. It, it, it really is. And, and to that, we, the four of us, we as women, we tend to pay attention sometimes, right? Sometimes we don't, but we get to a point where we care and we pay attention in a different way. Mm -hmm. So that effort that he made, because that's not a normal process, was really amazing. Um, and then for you guys, again, y'all know we've never been around each other. We've never been around each other, but there was something that said, these are my people. And like Stacy, very much a gift. And you never know the things that God will send you. And yes, Jackie, like, let's take a moment. I'm here. 
I've been watching you. You might forget me for a second. You might get distracted and not pay attention to how I'm showing up. But I'm just going to send you. Look, I'm mm-hmm. just going to send you a little something. <laughs> you know? That's huge. That's huge. It is. That is really huge. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's also a reminder, right, of when it's on your heart to do it, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because of yeah. the way it's going to impact someone. We have mm-hmm. no idea what people are feeling that day. Yeah. We have no idea what they're thinking. But to receive something, a card, something physical that just says to what Jackie just said, I see you. I see you. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you are worthy and you matter to me. And I mm-hmm. want you to know that I care about you and I love you. And this is my way of saying that to you. This is mm-hmm. how I do that. Yeah. And then you feel it yeah. and you receive it. But I agree with that space there of doing it when it comes to mind. Because mm-hmm. that weekend, I was, I feel like making green. It's going to hear it. Go. And um, I made, it just gave me chills. She loves that. And then I was like, oh, I can't make a holla for my aunt, too. It was in Miami. And because um, she loves holla as well. And I mailed it to her. And, you know, she died. And she's like, five nine. She sends me a picture of and on her table, facing the deck with her coffee and her butter. And she's like, thank you for spoiling me today. Mm-hmm. And it, mm-hmm. it just brings me so much joy that... You know, you think of bread or physical gifts as like those types of things, kind of simple, right? But it's really the, the intention and the thought behind it. And mm-hmm. for me, it brings me a lot of joy to make it and then to give it and then see a reaction. I'm like, I'm like, giddy, wave for the reaction. Like, oh, is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, then I love it. Yeah. And so when I get that reaction, I'm like, oh, it's fantastic. It feeds me to do it even more. But it's mm-hmm. not just, I'm not going to feel up. I'm not going to feel cared for. And in a world where it's just so toxic and hostile and full of challenges, it's like, how can we spread a little light to the general way possible? You know, to help people just feel a little better, feel a little bit more loved and cared for. Oh, yeah, and he called the age. She's like, here, you know, I should be able to call over. Call over. You know how to accept her. Let's go real figure it out. You know? Yeah. But I just the presence also is a gift. I know that we're all very busy. So that. Presence. Okay, let's just spend time together. It doesn't matter what mm-hmm. we're doing. It's a mm-hmm. gift, and I treasure it. And I think the older we get, and the more experiences we've had with loss, um, I just have that that like, before sensitivity for mm-hmm. um, I just have the time. And I just really feel good. Like, how can we do that in the short of that time that we have? And mm-hmm. getting all this toxicity that's around us, how can we create a little pocket of joy for a few minutes, <laughs> you know, for yeah. an hour mm-hmm. or whatever? Because those are the, the moments that feed us and give us all and help us to keep on going. Mm-hmm. Um, 100%. I just love it. Yeah. You can have that yeah. just right here. <laughs> I was just going to end this something. It's so deep in eyes, right? You know, I would buy you some of the because then it's, you know, it's your last bread. You know? Like, having this day. So, and Stacey, the way you were saying it, like, specifically, no. it's like, yes, this is when this, you know, brings us together. And- Mm-hmm. Man, we've had there's so much controversy about doesn't it have this and it's sort of sure and it's still a little bit so much conversation about bread in this country. Bread is a rebellion and on the it is. Jackie, you know you done teeter up there. She you know she's <laughs> 
She ready to march, honey. She, she, right. she, 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 she Bread is our resistance. Bread is our right. resistance. You know why? <laughs> because if you read the list of ingredients, no, yeah, no, bread. tell us. Okay, if you read the list of ingredients for bread at the store, they have all these ingredients listed. Most of them put the curry in it. How many pop bread? It's literally four or five ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let me tell you this, and then we're going to get back and talk to how we was on the call for 15 minutes before Stacy even said anything because she had a mouthful of bread. But <laughs> I am one of those gluten intolerant people. Okay. Oh, she, oh, that she, got? She, she pulled it out. <laughs> she pulled it out. <laughs> Yours? did not impact me whatsoever <laughs> so i am ready for uh, the development of this subscription you know here i go this subscription-based model and it's all about any girl oh what did i tell you about d-sharp what did i tell you okay she that's why we call her d-sharp mm. that's it right there this sister right I'm here dead serious I am Sharp dead serious. Attacked. She gonna have you, Jay. We ready. You gonna be busy. We ready. Yes. And Mother's Day is coming up. I hope my mom is not listening because she finna get some bread. This woman loves bread. So what did you say? My mama. Oh, oh yeah, I'm interested. Of course you. But what I love to the fact that what you just said, like there's four ingredients, right? Yeah. I don't buy bread ever. I just don't buy it uh, for the very reasons that Jackie, you were talking about. Like, I just, I've just kind of left it off. It's not a part of my diet at all. So when Jay was making it, I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she flew around here and made holla on top of it. I was like, it's, it's a wrap. But I love the fact that it's, it's, this is a product that you want to consume and you want to consume it quickly, right? Like, it's like anything else that's living. Mm -hmm. Don't let fruit stay around too long because it'll go bad. When you are making foods this way with a handful of ingredients and there are no preservatives, it is something that is to be consumed. 100%. Okay. It's not going to sit on a shelf for four weeks. Okay, this, right, Barking exactly. This table. needs to be consumed within the week. <laughs> this is mad, honey. One of our favorite things in it that created yeah. is references. Yeah, yeah, the day. Yeah, go ahead. Well, but no, yes, your brain. I love it. Go ahead. Okay, you see that? That's all that. Okay, hey, Jackie. That, that's all I was gonna say. <laughs> but it's like the quality of food has deteriorated through the years, and that's the my opinion was causing a lot of the problems that were happening because they were eating all sorts of things, right? But the quality was different. So if you're eating a sourdough bowl with four ingredients oh this is trendy artists in terminology okay it's, yes it's a mouth mm -hmm. okay anyway mm -hmm. but mine has been and if you have it for all she also closed <clears throat> it right and so it does that little pop thing yeah, it doesn't yeah. know yeah i want you to yeah. know that if you haven't looked at jay's ig you need to do it uh because there's like this there's the beautiful little scoring anyway go ahead jay go ahead artists artists and four <laughs> Okay. Was a whole place. Um, okay, I'm about to cut you off one more time. I promise, the last time. But Stacy just said it, and I have to, I have to echo her sentiment because here's me, cornball, 100. percent I'm looking at, I was like, oh, it still has some of the flour dust on it and everything. Yeah. Like it's official. Yes. yes. Like it's it's real. Like that. Yes. I swear this is not an endorsement show. Like we are okay. not being paid for these comments. Like this is some yeah. real stuff. You're like this is this real. is just straight being geeked <laughs> off of what you have done. And, it, it, and that's that. It's quality. And so I like if you if you have quality food, it's nourishing for your body. Mm -hmm. And it's enjoyable. I mean, mm -hmm. I, meals are a gathering opportunity. I think it's one of the few gathering opportunities that we have left in this crazy, fast-paced world. And so I'm like, can we please just enjoy some quality yeah. food when we finally do gather? 
And it's not kind of demonized, right? It's not bad for you. Now, if you're buying this store while with like 500 ingredients, it's not great for you, okay? It's going to cause some problems. But if you ain't kid on all, I am eating my bread guilt free. I want you to know. Yeah. You should. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, like I said, I, it's not a product that I ever purchase, but I was like, I'm going to have this almost daily here because I'm not trying to let this. Man, I go bad. <laughs> Let me go ahead. Go bad. <laughs> you want to call it safety? But eat man, I'm honey. I don't want this to go bad. I'm gonna eat this every day. The Lord said, "Get you look." Mm. I'm like, you can freeze it, you know. I thought about it. Get you look every day. Just get you enough for that day. I said, "Okay, Jesus, uh-huh. I'm gonna give me enough for today." <laughs> That's it. That's it. You know. You know. I know I'm saying that you said that it didn't cause any issues because I've had people no. that tell me about gluten intolerance. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm like, well, it's not an issue that's not real dope if you let it from that. Well, yeah. You know, it's still very down of gluten in the bread, which will make it better for your digestion. Listen. So instead of like, hey, because I, I was going to eat it regardless because I love bread and you made it. That was going to happen. So I was getting my mind ready. I'm like, okay. Whatever it takes, we're, we're <laughs> eating this bread, and I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of it. And then, surprise, surprise! Wait, what? I'm I'm not I'm not drained. I'm not like carb passed out. I'm not stomach hurting. Like none of these things. I'll have a headache. None of those things happen. Um. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for listening, and for honoring your gift because we right. are all benefiting from it. That's, That's right. right. Dimples popping. You know what I mean? Hey. You can't even see, like, you have to go to YouTube to see the joy, mm-hmm. the sheer joy. Yeah. Glow. For real. And yeah. I, that, that to me is, well, this is reminiscent of, <laughs> this is reminiscent of Jay and Jackie mm-hmm. riding around uh-huh. convertible. That is the joy that I see on Jay's face. Okay. <laughs> here, here, Jackie is behind the wheel of the car and they, Rolling last summer, just rolling. Rolling. I wanted to be in the car with them. They were having so much fun, just rolling. Mm -hmm. That's the same joy on Jay's face right now Mm -hmm. because she is working with her hands and working in her gift. I love Mm -hmm. it. I love it, y'all. I'm saying we got the convertible ride to kick off summer this year. You you do you do. We might need to be there for it. Come on, okay. I mean. How many ways to entice people? I mean, Gabby describes my place like a fairy and B, so A and B are food, you didn't get garden, organic ingredients, homemade food on a regular basis, plus homemade mm-hmm. pesto and cashew. I don't know what else, all man, know what else to offer, y'all. This place is good. So, so it'll be like a. <laughs> That's okay. It'll be like a music video. They would be in the car, Disha, we're going to be running down the street. Like, wait, <laughs> wait, us. <laughs> we're on a skateboard and a bicycle, and they in the car, like, so we're coming to. Is there room? Can like, we get in the back? Don't lose here. We're going to be, we, we gonna be running along the side. Right. As, as the, Listen, you as know the I, I knew that. Right. Something good. What about pop that car last summer? I was like, you need a summer car to counter out this gas. And I came here and um, Joanna's neighbors, the, hu- the husbands, her roaster. And I was like, yes. <laughs> oh, that's so fast. And God, um, I used mm. to have one. Like, yeah, I'm having a good time. That's what this is all about. Just a good time. But mm. I was like, oh man, you guys are excited about this. It's right. right. Okay. Right. I love the, it. The looks on y'all's faces made it very clear that it was a great choice. Mm-hmm. I watched that video two or three times. I said, look at them. Again, it was the joy. Like it was contagious. I felt it and I was excited. I wouldn't even damn <laughs> Right. <laughs> I think it, it was also just right. the whole 
<laughs> you know what a debt is. No, I'm doing it. And then I've heard her release that point where she's like, I can have mm-hmm. a coupon. I can mm-hmm. have a summer fun ride. A joy ride. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's a bit of flex. It's like reaching this chapter in life where it's like, you know what? I have to do bring some joy. Mm-hmm. Unabashedly. Don't no shame. Like, I just want to do what brings me joy. How can I have joy in mm-hmm. my life? Because we've been mm-hmm. through enough. So, like, how can we have some joy? So, I think I was the really multi layer event, but to him, how was a little bit pieces to it? It's just, it's the joy uh, and taking um, take ownership of that joy. Yeah. So, I was like, what's mm-hmm. everybody else? I have an appearance time. Yeah. I'm working. I'm working mm. at Top Dollar. I'm working with Side Hustle here. You know, my uncle and my kids are of Christ school, which is like a work oh. as short as mm-hmm. at the time president of the of the board of trustees. I was like, uh, okay, I'm doing all these things. What part of it is for me? Doing all the things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there it was. I mean, Mm-hmm. It was all Jackie. And you know who that I idea? love that. What makes mm-hmm. it even more, I think, special and brilliant is that my son, <laughs> who was still out with the time, was like, the Cougars are cool. I was like, do you realize you're going to six grade one day? Like, they're too small. And I'm like, it's. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you over here? I'm not saying anything to you. Right. Take a look. And then I got it and I said, mm-hmm. wow. You text me that you're a person who will ruin you on the human date. But he was the one that started initially. And then I gave myself permission to go for this. Mm-hmm. There it is. Yeah. He saw yeah. that. Yeah. Well, because kids can have any limitations on their imagination, right? And they're also exactly. just pulled into the present and can pick up on, oh, this is this is yeah. for you. This is, this will be good. It's like not in there with my cooking. Right. And she's like, oh, cooking is your help. I'm drag. She's picked up on that. And so I think they just. Yes. They pick up on that and then they're, and they're they go, afraid. Like, oh, yeah, you should do that. Exactly. They don't see. They don't see barriers. We Not create these barriers. They're like, it's a thing. Go, Go do, do it. it. Well, we need a little bit of that. Yeah, no, what do you? Because I think in the, we, we need a lot of that. With all the responsibilities and must tos and whatever. That last time I remember, we did an episode on uh, pursuing joy. We didn't say pursuing, but like, I hope we have joy this summer. Like, enjoy. Be exactly. intentional mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. it and. I'm all for you this year. I think it's just for advantage. It needs to be an all year practice. But it does. How do mm-hmm. we incorporate that mm-hmm. joy uh, on a regular basis? So if you, but recognizing. We showed up with hats and everything. Right. That, oh, right. that was a fun episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I but recognizing you those things that, that hit, those, those sparks that come through that we suppress somebody else will see him but we suppress him because like no that's not adulting or no that's not responsible or oh that's not a thing it's a thing and that's god talking to you right so do we really have the right to suppress it because those are the things that will bring us joy we fight it we stop our own joy he's like i gave you this idea and if i give you the idea then you have the ability to execute it and enjoy it, the process and the outcome. So it's it's time to check ourselves. Yes. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, this episode was very bread heavy. I mean, as it should oh, be. I, I, <laughs> yeah, as it should be. But, <laughs> but yes. But I think ultimately the bottom line is about those moments, about those those sparks of inspiration that come to you. They come to you for a reason. Um, and even if you don't recognize it, if somebody who loves you does, follow it. Go with it. Because you will be rewarded for it. And so will the people around you. The last things on top of blessings. 
Blessings on blessings, blessings on blessings. Hey. <laughs> I'm mean, glad to go you for two years. It's like it's a radius. We hope that you spend time with your gifts, spreading some radius to others. And we want to thank Jackie for joining us. Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you for hanging out it's with us today. <laughs> I was just about to say you got to oh, come I back. Know, right? that. She's real. coming back. She has to be part of that summer kickoff. So, yeah. Love it. Love it. Go get yourself joy today. We hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Our desire is to empower, support, and elevate you on this collective journey towards a fulfilled life. We invite you to connect and find community with us on Instagram as Cycles of Radiance. 